there is a climate crisis, obviously, the air is. On the face of it, it looks like a not in my backyard story. A $221 million project to raise Wagner Park. The authority says it's because of the climate crisis. But the so called other side of the story agrees that there is a climate crisis, only disagrees with the solution to demolish this three and a half acre slice of natural heaven used by about 75,000 people who live down here. It's taking years away from the park, years away from, you know, the love of everything around here. This is their central park. This is their prospect park. There's nowhere else to go. So to demolish it hurts thousands of uh, people in lower Manhattan, all over the city. The Battery Park City Authority is a state-run public benefit corporation. And under Governor Cuomo announced this plan to raise the park that is already 10 feet above sea level by another 10 feet, despite it not flooding during Hurricane Sandy or Ida. Residents say they want protections against rising seawaters, but that less disruptive resiliency plans that cost far less should be used and say for some reason the authority is refusing to consider it. There's no reason that we can't have a plan for climate change while also preserving a park that is beloved, award-winning, and frankly, nobody wants to see go. Despite word that construction was to begin in August, residents say they have yet to see the actual plans. Still, the only restaurant in this area has already been shut down after more than two decades in business here. Residents have banded together to start an organization named Save Wagner Park. This Thursday, they will present an alternative plan and are hoping to get Governor Hochul's support and to avoid litigation. There's no one on the other side of this. There's no NIMBY issue. There's no climate denying issue. There's nobody who doesn't want something done. We just want a smart resiliency plan. In Wagner Park, Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News.